Hello, folks. So, Bubba the Jewish Redneck Prepper here with you again. We're in the ghost town of Maxie, Georgia. When I say Maxie, Georgia, there's no businesses being operated down here. I think the last business probably closed down back in the 80s. But this is the old Georgia railroad town. And we're out of here on a short railroad bed to where uh, the short railroad used to run from uh, Unionport, Georgia down through here through a town called Woodville, this town of Maxie, Bard Town, Stevens on down, which I done did another ghost town, on down to, on over to Crawford, Georgia, and on down through past Crawford, Georgia. I don't know the next town, but I do know it ran from Union Point on over to Crawford, Crawford Georgia. Now what I want to do is put you out here where the railroad bed used to run, railroad bed. I think used to run out here, get you know, under this old beautiful oak tree. I think the old oak bed used to run on the other side of the old depot. And right here, they fixed this little old building up right here. The, that right building right there used to be the old apothecary. Now, if you don't know what the apothecary was, that was uh, the drugstore. An apothecary, that used to be the old word for drugstore, where you go back and get your medicine and everything. And I think it was also the doctor's office, too, besides the apothecary. I'm going down through here and get these old bins down through here. But what I'm going to walk down through here, I used to think this was a double track. They had a railroad bed that ran down through here. And uh, kind of like ran down through here on this side, all the way down through here. This... Uh, Depot. As a matter of fact, look at that, folks. There it is. I can't pull them all up. There is old. There's one of those railroad ties right there. Is that neat? Let's see if we walk down through here and find another one. Well, folks, we right there at old railroad ties, still embedded in the ground, never tucking up. The railroad ran right straight down through here. Sitting on this side of the depot. Walk on down through here to the depot and see if we can see anything else. I think this is like old uh, depot here. It had a side track and a main track to run down through here. Now this is the old, old depot right here. Now I remember years ago and what was so funny about this was years ago, this old depot here had an outside outhouse. <laughs> That's right, folks. I think they might have tore it down back in the 90s, early 2000s. And if I can get to it, I can tell you just about where it stood at. Look at this old depot. You can tell that this right out here used to have a, a dock that come off of that old depot before they would load it up off the dock. Everything. It might don't have its tracks anymore, but folks, it still got its old depot. Now, I think they use this depot here as a. Okay, this thing took you all the way to Athens, Georgia, folks. It went from Crawford on into Athens. Ran from Union Point to Athens. This is short rail. That's the old depot bill. I think the last thing they had is it's called a trading post. I think this was old flea market. But right out about around here stood, right in this general area, stood a dual outhouse. That's right. Folks, a dual outhouse in the middle of the town. The dual outhouse would have a his and her side toilet. And they had that like as a little gimmick down through here. Now we're going to cross the road and let's take a look at these old buildings here. Now, used to stand some old buildings here, down through here. You can see, the city hall is still incorporated, and folks still live here. That's about all as far as businesses. Look at this big old beautiful here building here. It's falling in. Back in the day, that old building right there. Probably offered rooms to people, but probably on the top floor. But you can tell, 
not much for it going in there anymore. Got the other building right next to it. I think the last thing was in there. Old tire place. And show you how they like visitors. They got a picnic table out here for folks to stop at and eat. Visiting this old ghost town. Yeah, that was old tire place here. Sold tires. I had a rack out here. I dared to lift the cars up, change tires and everything. I was trying to sell this old place now. There's old tires in there. And this old building. Just like any other building, it had to have a bank here somewhere, so that old bank is probably gone. Back in the day, this old store here, still got glass. Let's see if we can see anything in this old store. Oh, wow. You see that old grand staircase in there? That's old grand staircase. Goes to the second floor. Wow. They done ripped up the old floor in there. And it does have a second. That was a grand store here at one time. Beautiful old store. Town of Maxie. You could tell this was a bustling town. At one point they had a barbecue back there. You see, that was a big store. Served a lot of people here in this old town. And this was an old building that you could tell too. They had remodeled and made into the post office and city hall. About all that's left of it. Now you get to see the old depot from the front side here. This old Maxie's country store. One thing about it, apparently somebody lives here in this old building. Somebody kind of like this Maxie's country store. Probably was an antique store somebody was trying to run here. One time they stopped using it. And it's also my Sonic Lodge. I would have known. I always got to be on Masonic Lodge somewhere. Now here's like you always say it's like every ghost town that there is. You can tell somebody's living in the back of the old store. But like every other old town, you always got to have one store that was dilapidated. And as you can tell, these old step ups from off the old road here, right where this tree, you can tell there was another store here at that time because you see how that plaster is off on that wall? There was another store. Probably it was here before this tree was even put here. But this is the old McIntyre, Mercantile store here. We've got old Coca-Cola sign advertisement. Don't see much on the signs anymore. But hey, the door's wide open. It gives us a clear shot. Wow, folks. There ain't no floor in here whatsoever. You see the old brick, somebody's pulling this thing down. Got old skylight back there in the back, where the back section used to be. Still got part of the old floor trusses in there. It looks to me like they're, they're trying to tear down this old store. Yeah, I hope to goodness they're not destroying another piece of history. A beautiful old building. A beautiful old building. Well folks, I'm gonna go on here on the back side and see if we can find the old uh, old school house. Says something about to a dedication to a former resident in this home he bequeathed large estate to the corporation in memory of his father Augustine Thomas Brightwell and used for the education of the students of this locality. So somewhere around I don't know if there was a school originally right here on this lot or not. I don't see nothing in there. And I ain't gonna try to go up in there either. Train those old magnolia trees. But there again is the old apothecary, and this is an old ghost town here, Maxie, Georgia. Been coming through here for years. And uh, so we're going to go on this back street, and we're going to end it up for today. Good.
I'm going to cut down that back street. street. Which one? That one right there. We're going down the back street here of uh, Maxie, Georgia. The old schoolhouse I know was back here, but I'm not sure if it's the full of the schoolhouse is still standing or it's just like one one room part of the old school. What's this say? Oak Street? But it's right out there, folks, where the old school used to be. This is just part of the old school right here. This building right here. I think there was another building to the school down the road, and that's the old school. And they got that as Ma Maxie's Veteran Park out there. Ain't that cool? Go around here. I don't know where the street ends up at.